So now, so now here, DQ be the amount of charges within this small element Bn. So now, we have to see that what is the direction of the electric field? We see that the electric field is a vector quantity and the vector is a two components. One of the components along x-axis and the other component is along y-axis. So here it is two components. One of the components is this which we call it as a DEX and the other component is this which we call it as a DEY. So it's two components. One is DEX and the other is DEY. Similarly, if I take this portion, this portion, if I take this portion and say that DQ is the amount of charges within this small element DL and what is the electric field at the point B due to this small element, then I again draw a vector which shows the direction of the electric field E. This is the electric field E. So now in this particular case, okay, the electric field whose magnitude is same like that. This is the magnitude which is the same. But the direction is different here. Here the direction is different. So this is the direction in this case. So the DQ DQ is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught DQ upon R square. So now if we look into this amount DQ, here the electric field whose direction is this, again it is to be divided into two components. One of the component is this, which is along x-axis and other component is this, which is along y-axis. So now this is called the DEY and this is called DEX. So now therefore, if we look into this figure, the DEY component, one is in the upward direction and other is in the downward direction. So as a resultant, as a resultant, the vertical component will cancel each other. So the total electric field is along the horizontal component. So here, this will cancel each other. The total field is along the horizontal axis. So thus DE is equal to DEX, which is equal to DE cos of angle theta. So now we have to see that the vertical component of the both sides will cancel each other therefore the resultant component is along x axis. Therefore, the resultant component is along x axis. So now we have to look at okay, what is the electric field along x axis. I mean, you see this. So here, if you see this, the total field can be found out by integrating it. Now the integration is over the length. We have assumed that the total length of the wire is very, very long and it is varies from minus infinity to plus infinity. So therefore, the total length is equal to here. Here the total E is equal to integral over DE and this integral is from minus infinity to plus infinity 
which is equal to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught b q upon r square. This is r. This is r. We call it as a r square. And we call this is the length we say it is L. Or sometimes you call it as a y. Aap isko y bhi keh sakte hai, aap isko L bhi keh sakte hai, total length. <coughs> to yaha pe, agar mein isko dekhna chau, and this is the cos theta. The cos theta is the component which is showing that the electric field E is along x-axis. So we call it as a dEx. Agar mein isko convert karna chau, yaha se 0 se L ke form hai. This is 0 to L, this is 0 to L. Or you may write it as 0 to L by 2 to 0 to minus L by 2. So, if I see this from here, then what will happen? This can be written as the total length is varies from 0 to L, which is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught dq upon r square into cos of angle theta. This dq can be written in terms of this. Because this length of <coughs> or mu can be written as dq over dl. Lambda in the last lecture we have discussed the linear charge density. Lambda can be written as dq over dl. So from this figure using the cross product dq is equal to lambda into dl. So lambda instead of this dq we substitute the value lambda into dl over here. So now this gives the integration over the length. So we have converted the integration from minus infinity to plus infinity to 0 to L. So now into cos theta. So here now we use a Pythagoras theorem. This two factor indicates that the electric field due to the upper portion and electric field due to the lower portion is the same. So it is to be added. So therefore EX plus EX is equal to twice of EX. This two factor is due to this. So now here, if we look into this integration, DL, which is the length of the wire, is a variable. The angle theta is a variable. So now these are the two variables. One is the angle and other is the theta. So in this integration, there must be only one variable which is to be integrated. So if we have a two variables, then we will use the change of variable techniques. Dusri cheez, yaha pe humar paas jo given cheez hai, wo kya hai, wo humar paas given hai, we have to find out the electric field at a distance x from the linear conductor. x given hai, length of the conductor given hai. Ye jo r hai, ye humne khud liya hua hai. So it means this R is to be converted in the form of the given values, which is X and L. So therefore, by using a Pythagoras theorem, this R square, this R square is equal to X square plus L square. So instead of R square, we can write it here, the X square plus L square. Sometimes you write it as a x square plus y square. It's okay. You may write it y or you may write it as a n. So now we use the change of variables. This is the angle theta. Either you convert length in the form of angle or angle in the form of length. So you use the trigonometric function of sine theta, cos theta and tangent theta. Here, what you have given, you have a given as x and you have a n in terms of this. So here, what is the cos theta? Cos theta is defined as the base over hypotenuse. So cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse. Here, base is equal to this. Base is equal to x. And hypotenuse is equal to R, so we call it as X upon R. One thing. Second thing, either you may convert it 
in the form of the distance and in the form of the distance you may write it as tangent theta is equal to perpendicular upon base perpendicular upon base so the perpendicular upon base in this figure in this triangle perpendicular is the l and base is the x so this is l upon x this is l upon x now so this l upon x is equal to tangent theta and uh, you can convert it into the dl so using cross product here the l is equal to x tangent theta if we take a derivative of this this gives you the dl which is equal to x tangent square ka jo derivation hai wo kya hota hai the derivative of the the derivative of the tangent square is equal to sec square theta so here its derivative is sec square theta into d theta so this is the derivative of the tangent theta now so here if we substitute the value of dl which is x square sec square theta it means the length term is converted into the angle so this integration over length will be converted into the integration over the angle so if we say that if the l is equal to 0 if l is equal to 0 agar l 0 hai yahan pe this is l is equal to 0 this is 0 तो एल अगर जीरो होगा तो यहाँ पे एंगल देखें एंगल कितना होगा थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो क्योंकि एल जीरो है तो ये आपका डिस्टेंस ये यहाँ पे आ जाएगा थीटा गोज टू जीरो सो फॉर एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो थीटा इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर एल इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी बहुत बढ़िया है मीन्स जीरो टू एल एंड एल टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी तो अगर एल इन्फिनिटी है ये बहुत बड़ी हो जाएगी अगर If it is far away, then the angle increases and the maximum angle goes to 90 degree. So therefore, here for l tends to infinity, the theta tends to pi by 2. So now this integration can be rewrite it as e is equal to 2. This is constant. This can be coming out from the integral 4 by epsilon naught. This lambda is also constant. This can be our integration. So, we can see that. So, now in the integration, we have a term zero. Zero is converted into theta is zero. And when n is infinity, theta is equal to pi by two. Yeah. So, d l, d l is equal to x sec square theta x sec secant square theta d theta divided by x square plus n square, x square plus n square. यहाँ पे l आपके पास ये given है, तो l is equal to x tangent theta, तो l square is equal to x square tangent square theta. और यहाँ पे ये cos theta, तो यहाँ पे मैं cos theta लिख देता हूँ, cos theta into d. So this is the final equation now. So now we have to solve this equation. We have to solve this equation from this equation here e is equal to 2 lambda upon 2 ko kam khatam kar dete hain to ye 2 ho jayega which is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught integral over 0 to pi by 2 is equal to x sec square cos theta b theta yahan se agar aap ye dekhein ke कॉमन निकाल दिया तो यहाँ पे क्या होगा वन प्लस किस तरह से किया ये ऊपर देखे आप 
ये sec square theta into cos theta you may write it as secant is equal to one upon cos square theta into cos theta. So a cos theta cancel हो गया. This is one upon cos theta. Or one upon cos theta is equal to sec theta. This is I have just written. ये यहाँ पे मैंने लिख दिया. तो अगर यहाँ पे अगर आप ये देखें कि one plus tangent square theta is again the secant square theta. So just substitute this value. We will get here. इसको मैं remove कर देता हूँ ऊपर. So here now we have an equation. This e is equal to lambda upon two pi epsilon naught into integral zero to pi by two. This is the sec x sec theta d theta divided by x square. Into one plus tangent theta is equal to sec square theta. <coughs> so now this is square, this is cos theta, this will cancel each other. So e is equal to lambda upon two pi epsilon naught integral x upon x square. So one x is cancelled here. This is x. X is the constant that can be taken out from the integral. यहाँ पे x है cancel हो जाएगा. X जो है ये distance तो fix है. यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये जो x का जो distance है, this is the fixed distance. Fixed distance means it is the constant, and constant can be taken out from the integral. So here e is equal to ऊपर क्या रह जाता है? सिर्फ d theta. और यहां पे क्या आ जाता है sec theta अब sec को अगर मैं ऊपर ले जाऊं तो क्या होगा sec is equal to cos theta and the integration limit is from 0 to pi by 2 और आप सबको पता है कि integration of cos theta is equal to sin theta its integration is sin theta and the limit is from 0 to pi by 2 So now here, <coughs> here e is equal to lambda upon two pi epsilon naught x sine pi by two minus sine. जीरो पहले हमने पाई बाय टू की लिमिट डाल दी फिर जीरो की लिमिट डाल दी इट विल बी लाइक दैट साइन पाई बाय टू इज अ नाइंटी डिग्री एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज वन एंड साइन जीरो इट्स वैल्यू इज जीरो सो दिस टर्म गोस टू जीरो दिस टर्म गोस टू वन सो द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ई इज इक्वल टू लेंडा अपॉन Due to the linear charge conductor. So, हमारे पास अगर ये एक conductor है, ये this is the wire, which is the charged wire. अगर यहाँ इस charged wire की वजह से एक distance एक electric field क्या होगी? तो वो हमारे पास है one upon two pi epsilon naught lambda upon x. This is the electric field. So this is the electric field due to the linear charge conductor. So यहाँ पे ये topic आपका complete हो जाता है कि what is the electric field due to the linear charge conductor. तो यहाँ से अगर आप ये देखें कि कुछ समझ में आ रहा है ये बेहतर है या वो बेहतर था? now you are allowed to speak
सर ये थोड़ा सा दूसरे में नजर तो हो जाए सर ये राइटिंग थोड़ी दूसरे में ना तो हो जाए तो बोर्ड क्लियर तो नजर आ जाए सर थोड़ा इशू है तो जरा सांग 